Well, a mom from Eastern Kentucky says thank you today to a medical team at Cincinnati Children's Hospital for a first of its kind transplant there. Joining us now to tell us more about the mother and daughter is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Oh, these are my favorite stories to do. This transplant, a big breakthrough for a really painful problem the doctors say might be missed in a child. The good news, this pioneer patient who is now paving a new world for other children is a story you will see only here on Local 12 News. Look at mom. I love you. I love you. How do you feel today? Happy. For more than a year, Debbie Crum says her daughter Mallory, who is now 12 and also has autism, was in so much pain. We were probably hospitalized 35 times. It all started, she says, with symptoms much like the flu, but it ended up being chronic pancreatitis. Uh, and so sometimes patients, children, will come to the emergency room with uh, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and will present time and time again uh, before anyone really thinks that this could be the pancreas, this could be inflammation of the pancreas. Dr. Jamie Nathan says medications are used initially for treatment, but things got so bad for Mallory. We couldn't even go out to the grocery store without having to take a pain pill before we left and a pain pill after we left. There was no vacation, there was no going to school, there was no swinging, there was there was nothing. All the things that she used to enjoy was on hold because of this disease. So Mallory's medical team offered her a unique transplant that Dr. Nathan admits his team had never done before. It removes the pancreas completely to get rid of the source of the pain and then the cells in it that are critical for survival and blood sugar control called islet cells are injected into a vein connected to the liver. And then they uh, will essentially set up shop and live in the liver uh, with the goal that they will produce insulin ultimately. Since then, she's had an amazing recovery. She spent some time here at the Ronald McDonald House and already her family noticing amazing changes in what she can do, how she can go out and about, and most importantly, her pain medications. We've actually not had any pain medication since one week after the procedure. And we're back swinging and laughing and dancing and just, just being a kid. Oh, the things you don't take for granted. Mallory was the first to have this done at Children's. They've done one more since, and only a handful of hospitals in the country do this right now in kids. Great to have that team here. Both patients, we're told yeah. so far, doing really well. We're just all sitting around awestruck by this. Well, the idea that you could take working cells out of something that didn't work and put them in another part of the body and get the liver to work as a pancreas is really exciting stuff. And to have that here is remarkable. I love smart people. Yeah. That's so great. Thank you, I love smart people, too. They got it going on. <laughs> well, those other hospitals, we want to tell you that includes Minnesota and Boston. We're going to keep you posted on Mallory's progress, right? Yeah, I can't wait to share oh, her story. Thanks.